Myers takes David Cohn for a ride early in the third inning. Devon White with a bid to go up and over. A good effort, but he can't bring it back in. Two run shot. Three nothing Angels after three. Move to the seventh. Three to two. Jay's trying to get back in it. Joe Carter bidding for the blue pit, but look at Jim Edmonds doing some work in center. He's gobbling it up. Move to the ninth inning. Angels have extended the lead to 4 2. Lee Smith looking for his 20th save. Facing Paul Molitor. The tying run at the plate. The little bleeder. And oh, Edmonds, well, it's a knuckleball out there. And whew, he says. And so does Lee Smith. The Angels haul it in. They now own first in the West by a game. Solo Rocket. Oh, my goodness. That's not coming back. Two to one A's. Let's move to the seventh inning. Same score. Big Stu looking in at Greg Vaughn. And guess what? Uh oh. That is rocketed as well. Just over the wall in left center. Two run home run. Three to two Brewers. We're tied at three. Now in the tenth inning, Kevin Seitz are on with two on. Seitzer, Seitzer hitless tonight. Uh, steps in against Todd Van Poppel and rips. The single to give him a 4 3 lead. Moments later, Van Poppel would give up a three run rocket to Matt Mieske. And that was it. The A's fall to 0 and 7 in extra innings this season. Post game fireworks helping the A's sell out. For the full star pitcher with a little help from his friends like Luis Ortiz down at third. Carlos Baerga, you have been robbed. Second inning, Ortiz with the bat, his bid for extra bases. Look at Ruben Amaro Jr. Oh, that's a nice grab taking it away. And Hey, Ortiz, you've been robbed. Bottom three now, Sandy Alomar Jr. He hits one off Rogers, and you saw him kind of limping up there. He knew it's not coming back. That's a two-run shot, 2 nothing Cleveland. Sixth inning, Herbert Perry. He does it to Rogers as well. That's long gone. 6 nothing Indians at the time, and while Kenny Rogers may not know when to fold up, Johnny Oates does, pulls Rogers, brings in Chris Nickting, and he almost got a big nick. Like, right in the face, look out! Oh, he got out of the way. Carlos Baerga, RBI single. Indians up 7-0, they win 9-1. Charles Nagy throwing seven scoreless innings, giving the Indians their seventh win. When Vaughn comes up against Apier again with the bases loaded. Sinking liner, Tom Goodwin makes a mistake. And that's going all the way to the wall. Everybody scores. Mo Vaughn has himself a three-run triple. Eighth inning, Apier is long gone, but Mo's still hanging around, and we get Mo the same. That's not going to be playable way out there. Second home run of the night, number 23 of the year. 12-5 Red Sox at that point. And how bad did things go for the Royals? Gary Gaetti with the excuse me. He's not happy. Look at the bat. Throws it. Oh, he almost hits himself in the face. Things not going well at all for Kansas City. This is the second straight two-homer game for Vaughn. He likes Six in this one. This is not a walk. David just a swing in the bat all year. Goes gap off the wall there. A couple of guys come on in off Schilling. He's struggling 2 nothing Atlanta. On the other side, Steve Avery. Darren Dalton, get out. What are you looking at? Charlie Hayes, you too tell it walking. Avery in complete control. Bobby Cox likes to see that. Fourth inning, Steve gets some help. Fred McGriff heading to the All-Star game. Not for his glove, but that's a pretty nice play. Phillies. Get some work on their own. Dave Gallier follows the ball. Nice effort up against the wall. And then in the eighth, icing. Two on for Charlie O'Brien. He goes right down the line. All the Oh, it kicks off the stands. That always helps. Nice little ricochet bounce there. A couple more Braves come in. It's 9-0. Phillies get four way too late. This gives Atlanta a measure of pinball machine. Coors Field, the site of another slugfest. Rocks and Astros and talk about rocks. Andres Galarraga, 442 feet with the two-run rocket. Tied to 10 in the bottom of the, sorry, tied to 10 in the bottom of the seventh. The big cat again, a solo shot. 11 to 10 Colorado, but they're not done. Top of the ninth, two out. They're up 15 to 10, and Houston's trying to get something going. Look at Orlando, look at uh, Ellis Burks tracking down Orlando Miller's grab. Bounces off, but he holds on. Three hours and 13 minutes, another big. Inning. Next batter is Chris Jones. Can he go back to back? Watch Brian McCray. I would think not. He climbs the wall and robs Jones of extra bases. Uh, no, no, don't try to hit it past him. 2 1, top eight. Bobby Bonilla flashing some leather at third. And no, 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 Brian McCray, don't try to hit it past him. McCray robbed on that play. But a man on, two on for Ray Sanchez. 2 1, and Pulsifer makes a big mistake. The light hitting Ray Sanchez. Hits the two-run shot. Turner's cry. Jay Buhner, then Tino Martinez, whiffed. Then Wells with the leather, robbing Luis Soho. And Wells is getting it done big time this year. One-nothing Tigers, bottom five. John Flaherty gives him a little work off 
Chris Bazio. That's way up and gone. Two nothing Tiger lead. Three nothing when Bazio gives up back to back homers. Fryman following Gomez. Wells pitched in the ninth inning but left a little trouble for. Uh oh. Wow, Mike Henneman pitching out of trouble and Travis Fryman dodging the broken bat. Mike Blowers grounding it. John Cruck, remember him? Pretty good find for the White Sox. He puts the barrel on this thing. Three run rocket. His first American League homer, 3 0. White Sox Yanks claw back. Sixth inning, Randy Velarde rips it the other way. Mike Stanley's coming all the way around, and the Yanks have jumped in front 4 3. Tied at four in the seventh. Danny Tartable digging in against Scott Radinsky, and he's going to go the other way. He's going to go gap with his fifth rocket of the season. Yanks take a 5-4 lead, and then McDowell cruising from there. Seven strikeouts. Mike Devereaux, get out on the high, hard stuff. McDowell successful in his first pitching uh, work. It ends, and guess what? Rafael Palmero starting to swing the bat. He's been swinging it all year. Did not make the all-star team, but there's a home run there off Kevin Tapp, and he won nothing Orioles. Brady Anderson's streak of... 36 consecutive steals is over. It was an American League record. It's ended by Matt Walbeck. He was the last guy to throw Brady out. How about that? Five in the seventh. Puts it away for the Orioles. They rip up a four-all tie. Two-run rocket for Palmero. His second, he now has 15. Ugh, for Mark Guthrie. Overall, the 